So on this model, I wanna show just a really gorgeous, shiny, smooth blowout. A uh, requested blowout from a lot of guests that have texture in their hair, um, just to make her feel really finished and look really shiny and beautiful. I'm gonna start with using the Fortify Hair Leave-In Conditioning Treatment, just to kind of give her ends a little more protection and kind of give her a little conditioning treatment within her blowout. So I'm just gonna get this just kind of mid shaft to ends, really sealing in those ends nicely. Then I'm going to use the Good Hair Guardian Thermal Primer. So this primer is amazing to use right away because it gives this aroma and this beautiful experience right away to the blowout. So this is gonna protect the hair from heat styling up to 400 degrees, make the hair look smooth and shiny, but it's not gonna weigh it down at all. And I'm going to use a little bit of the Shape Setter Flex Gel. So this gel is going to be fantastic for giving the, the Mason Pearson, the Denman, just a little bit of grip as I'm blow drying. And I want to get her fringe dried right away so it um, lays really nice. So we're gonna put that Shape Setter Flex Gel kind of at the roots and in the fringe. Okay, so I'm gonna start blow drying the fringe right away. I'm just gonna let gravity kind of take its course with her fringe. It doesn't look like she has any really strong colic, so I'm going to use a Denman um, just to give it a really soft, natural um, bevel. And her forehead, I usually like to let her forehead do a little bit of the beveling, so I'll move the hair from one side and then I'll move it to the next, and then I'll go over it with a Denman if it needs it. Um, but it just might not. Nice to start with the fringe, just so we have that all set before we start the rest of the blow dry. So I'm gonna just go through and really rough dry her hair, um, just to get some of the moisture out and save a little bit of time. I like to rough dry um, still with a purpose, so not blowing hair all over and really fluffing up that cuticle. I wanna blow dry roughly, but, um, but keep the cuticle going down, just to save myself some work when I have the brush in my hand. So to start with Paige's hair, I'm gonna take diagonal sections going backwards, starting in the front, and then I'll finish in the back. So I just really wanna get the hair around her face nice and beautiful and smooth, and that'll give her some longevity with her blowout. And I try to keep my sections really neat um, and just get in the habit of it, and then it becomes a habit and it doesn't take any extra time to keep your sections nice and neat. It actually saves time. So then I'm gonna go in with a Mason Pearson and I'm going to give it a little bit of lift at the root and then pull down and then seal the cuticle down. It's nice if you can keep your brush in your hand just to save a little bit of time that way. Sometimes you have to set it down, but a lot of times doing these diagonal sections, you can kind of keep your brush in your hand. And then as I'm taking each new wet section, I'll incorporate a little bit of my previous section so it doesn't, um, so the wet hair doesn't give the dry hair any frizz on the way. So then I'm gonna work my way through the back, taking sections diagonally as well, just so I can get a really nice finished shape. And I'll move all the finished hair to the front as I go. So in finishing this look, I just wanted to give her ends a tiny bevel. I love how smooth and shiny it got. And I love that we didn't have to go through with the flat iron the whole look. We're just gonna touch up a little bit on the ends so we give it just a really beautiful finished look. So I'm gonna start in the front. And I'm just gonna take fairly large sections because I really don't want to put unnecessary heat on. I'm just gonna do the tiniest bit. But I wanna show off her fringe and I wanna show off the face framing in her hair. So I'm just gonna give the flat um, iron just a little tiny bevel as I go. And you just wanna keep the iron moving, so never really stopping. And it's nice if you can just go over it one time and not have to keep going over it again. I try to tell all my guests that I see to do that as well because I think over time, using a lot of um, flat irons and heat styling really does take a toll on your hair. It's nice that we have such amazing products to protect the hair, especially the Good Hair Guardian. It is amazing. And you can see how much body and how how, um, how her hair is movement, you know, it's not greasy. And I, you know, really put a few things in her hair and it's just, 
soft and beautiful. So this really great foundation blowout gives us options to do so many things from here. We could throw her hair into a beautiful updo. Um, we could do a nice, beautiful style. So let's put a little bit of paste in her fringe. It's kind of fun just to give it a little bit of texture and just to kind of show off how pretty that is on her. The best thing about the paste is that it's really forgivable. So if you get it in there and you're like, oh, I don't really love that shape, you can kind of recreate what you're going for. So a very simple to do um, in the salon blowout, but just taking that time to take small sections, to really use the right um, tools and the right tension, that'll really give you um, kind of a next level look. So this is my finished blowout. Um, it's a great foundational blowout that any hairdresser can do, and every client will really feel polished when they're walking out the door.